Study links high vitamin B intake to lung cancer. According to a study, men who take high doses of vitamin B supplements appear to be at a higher risk for lung cancer. The association is highest among men who smoke. Male smokers taking the highest levels of vitamin B6, around 11 times the recommended daily amount, showed a 30% higher chance of getting lung cancer. Male smokers taking the highest levels of vitamin B12, around 23 times the recommended daily amount, showed a 40% higher chance of getting lung cancer. Around 77,000 men and women from Washington State, aged 50 to 76, took part in the study over 10-year periods. The study found no increased risk of lung cancer in women or with vitamin B9, also known as folate. The researchers said most Americans get enough vitamin B in their diets, so there is no need to take supplements. It's thought that the people who took part in the study may have been taking extra vitamin B to ward off cancer. So although there was a correlation between vitamin B and lung cancer, it's not as if too much of it would actually cause the disease. Researchers say there is no need to take such mega doses anyway, and the best way to prevent lung cancer is to quit smoking. Cancer sucks. Metastatic cancer could be stopped. A research team led by the Georgia Institute of Technology has developed a new treatment that can potentially stop cancer cells from migrating inside the human body. Cells contain cytoskeletons to give them their shape and to carry out functions such as division and movement. In order to move, the cytoskeletons produce protrusions called phyllopodia, which extends from fibers inside the cell known as lamellopodia. The protrusions help cells to shift locations. Lamellopodia and phyllopodia are overproduced in malignant cancer cells, enabling them to spread around the body at faster speeds. Cancer kills patients often through the spread of malignant cells, which is known as the metastasis process. By attaching nanorods comprised of a small collection of gold atoms to the integrin of the cells, the cytoskeleton can be stopped from overproducing lamellopodia and phyllopodia, which slows down the migration of malignant cells. A low-energy laser of near-infrared light is then used on the cells. The light is absorbed by the gold nanorods, which then partially melts cancer cells and damages lamellopodia and phyllopodia. This can bring the migration of the cancer cells to a stop. If desired, the laser light can also be adjusted to kill the cancer cells. The experimental treatment shows no observable damage to healthy cells, which is an advantage over commonly used chemotherapy. In the experiments, scientists also did not see the treated cancer recur. Israeli scientists show how melanoma spreads in the body. Scientists at Tel Aviv University have made a landmark discovery on melanoma, a brutally aggressive form of skin cancer that kills a person every 52 minutes. Melanoma forms in the epidermis of the skin. At this stage, the cancer cells are not able to spread as they have no access to blood vessels. Researchers discovered that the cancer sends out tiny vesicles containing microRNA to the dermis layer. The vesicles induce changes in the dermis, including features of cancer-associated fibroblasts. The changes enable the dermis to absorb the cancer cells. The real threat of melanoma begins when the cancer cells have access to blood vessels and are spread to vital organs such as the brain, lungs, liver, and bones. The team also found two chemicals that could stop the spread of melanoma in its initial stages. One is capable of stopping the vesicles from being sent to the dermis, and the other capable of preventing the reaction to the vesicles in the dermis itself. Elephant gene could help in the fight against cancer. In a study published this week in the Journal of the American Medical Association, scientists revealed they have discovered a gene in elephants that could help the fight against cancer. Elephants, similar to humans, have lifespans of around 70 years or more, but they have 100 times more cells than humans and their cells rarely mutate into cancer. Only 4.8% of known elephant deaths are related to cancer, while for humans, cancer-related deaths are between 11 and 25%. Scientists have found that African elephants have 20 copies of a gene called TP53, which creates a protein that suppresses tumors. Humans, on the other hand, inherit only one TP53, one allele from each of their parents. If one of them is defective, cancer is certain to develop sooner or later. When there is DNA damage, the gene churns out copies of its P53 protein, and it either stops the cells from dividing so the DNA can be repaired, or destroys the affected cell so it won't pass on potentially harmful mutations. 
tumor biology specialist Dr. Trevor Graham told the LA Times that reinforcing the protection offered by TP53 in humans would be enough to prevent human cells from becoming cancerous. Malaria vaccine could lead to general cure for cancer. Scientists researching a vaccine against malaria in pregnant women may have accidentally discovered an effective weapon against cancer. Scientists from the University of Copenhagen and the University of British Columbia have identified that the carbohydrate the malaria parasite attaches itself to in the placenta of a pregnant woman is identical to a carbohydrate present in cancer cells. Scientists have created the protein that the malaria parasite uses to attach to the placenta in a laboratory and have added a toxin. The combination of the malaria protein and toxin finds cancer cells, is absorbed, then the toxin is released inside, causing the cancer cells to die. Research groups from the two universities have tested thousands of samples from brain tumors to leukemias and have found that the malaria protein is able to attack more than 90% of all types of tumors. The drug was tested on mice implanted with three types of human tumors, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, prostate cancer, and metastatic bone cancer. The mice that were given doses of protein and toxin showed far higher survival rates than the untreated mice. Researchers are now working towards being able to conduct human trials. They say the earliest possible time frame would be in four years. Fighting cancer with light? Mobilizing a patient's immune system to eradicate cancer is often hit or miss, but a group of researchers have discovered that light and optics might help. Killer T cells act as the body's defense mechanism, but they're often evaded by cancer cells and kept out of areas surrounding aggressive tumors. To help them track down their target, scientists combine the T cells with a light-sensitive algae molecule. When injected into mice and activated with light, the T cells were better able to kill the cancer cells. In a separate project, mice with melanoma on their ears were implanted with LED chips and made to wear a small battery pack. The battery signaled the LED to shine light on the tumor, calling killer T cells to the area and boosting their cancer-killing function. The non-toxic treatment is promising, but researchers are still determining how effective it is on tumors deep in the body.